Hello, everyone. I'm Yao Sun. It's my pleasure to give a presentation here. And my topic today is automatic search of cubes for attacking stream ciphers. So in this talk, I will introduce a new algorithm to search for a special kind of cubes. This presentation contains three parts. Firstly, I introduce the background and our main contribution. And secondly, we talk about the main ideas of the search algorithm. And thirdly, we apply the search algorithm to attacks against the trivial. Now let's start with the first part. Our attacks are based on the cube attack, which has become one of the most powerful tools of attacking stream ciphers. For a stream cipher, the output bit can always be represented as a Boolean polynomial, f, and let i be the set of indexes of public variables, and ci be the cube of i. By summing up the values of f over the cube ci, we can obtain a new polynomial p, and this polynomial is called the superpoly of the cube. And generally, the superpoly p should be balanced, and in the offline phase of the cube attack, <coughs> we need to generate the balanced superpoly p, and in the online phase, we need to query the oracle for many times to get the active value of p. And then we will obtain an equation. <coughs> Using this equation, we can filter out half of the Ill illegal case, and this is the overall complexity. <coughs> Note that using more superpolys can lower down this complexity. And this is the main idea of the cube attack. So in the cube attack, the first problem is how to generate the superpoly p. And many works have been done to solve this problem. In the earlier years, linearity test and quadraticity test were used. And in 2015, the division Diffusion property was presented, but the related computations was very slow. And in the next year, the concept of division trio is proposed. It is similar to the concept of differential trio, and it can be computed very efficiently using NLP methods. And in the year 2017, the division trio method was first applied to cube attack, and uh, this starts the recent cube attack against uh, stream ciphers. <coughs> many, uh, after many improvements on the division properties, and uh, finally the three subset division property without and no subset was presented in 2020, and since then. The problem how to retrieve the superpoly was solved completely. And uh, what's the next problem to be solved in the cube attack? In my opinion, I think it is how to find good cubes or superpolys. Since one cube corresponds to exactly one superpoly, searching for cubes is equivalent to searching for superpolys. But the re related works are quite few. Next, we talk about which kind of superpolys should be searched for. Firstly, linear superpolys. They are perfect in the attacks, but they are too rare to find. And moreover, I think they may not exist at all for higher round of stream ciphers. And secondly, the general nonlinear superpolys. They can be found almost everywhere, but they are useless. 
So to my understand, um, we think we can find a special kind of nonlinear superpoly called superpoly with balanced variables. For example, in this form, the variable ki is a balanced variable, and uh, the monomials in the other part are non, uh, can be nonlinear. <coughs> I believe there are lots of this kind of superpolys, much more than the linear ones. So, this kind of lin uh, this kind of superpolys are not hard to find, and they are also very useful. Note that the superpolys with balanced variables must be balanced superpolys. And uh, we call the cubes whose superpoly have balanced variables as the valuable cubes. And this is the objective we are going to search for. So the main contribution in this paper is that we propose a new heuristic algorithm to search for valuable cubes. And as applications, we improve the theoretical cube attacks against the trivial and, tri and equilibrium in the, uh, when the paper was submitted in the last year. And we also improve the practical key recovery attack against trivial. And this is the best result best practical result now. And next, let's see the search algorithm. Our goal is to search for valuable, cube, valuable cubes, or uh, equivalently, search for the superpolys with balanced variables in this form. <coughs> so the first idea come to our mind is that we can choose a random cube and recover the whole superpoly and check whether there are many balanced variables. But this, but clearly, this method is not very efficient because, for example, recovering the whole superpoly for 840, 840 trillion uh, always takes more than one hour. So this method has a very low success rate. <coughs> and an improvement is that we can choose a specific secret variable ki, and only check whether ki is balanced in the superpoly. And this method is faster than the first one, but it has a very low success rate because the number of secret variables is large. For example, usually more than 80. So we got the third idea. That is, we can treat a set of cubes together such that the common computations among these cubes can be shared. And this method is much faster than the previous ones, and it also has a high success rate. <coughs> But um, in fact, this uh, method is still not efficient enough because we must finish the computation of all the cubes. And actually, we only need a few numbers of valuable cubes. So we think we can reject some hopeless cubes during the computation. And this will slightly lower the has the success rate, but uh, the efficiency of this method will be very good. And there is another problem, that is how to reject hopeless cubes timely. And by seeing a hopeless cube of ki, we mean that the secret variable ki is not balanced in its superpoly, or uh, equivalently, there are many Nonlinear monomials involving Ki appear in the superpoly. And this introduces another problem that, that is, we need a method to check whether a monomial appears in the superpoly, which can be solved by the C subset division property without a known subset. And next, we 
briefly introduce the main result of this method. <coughs> there are some notations. fr be the r round function, and xr be the state of the r round, and pi wx is just a notation, and f hat w is the anf of a Boolean function. And the three subset division property without and no subset uh, says homonomial appears in the ANF f hat w if and only if the vector u corresponds to an odd number of solutions of the system. By this result, we can see that to check whether a monomial appears in the superpoly, we only need to solve this polynomial, solve this system. And for simplification, we restate the above statement as a monomial appears in the in some ANF if and only if sorry if and only if it appears all the times in the solutions of some system. So, to reject hopeless cube, cubes timely, we can use the divide and conquer strategy, which is proposed in 2020. The idea is simple. Since we want to solve a big system, we can split this big system into several small subsystems. By solving these subsystems one by one, we can accumulate the results. And uh, by using this divide and uh, conquer strategy, <coughs> we can determine whether a cube is hopeless with a high probability after we computing only a few number of subsystems. And that is, we observed that the property of the whole system approximately equals to the property of the subsystem. And specifically, we have two observations. Our first observation is, if a, monomial, if a monomial appears in the solutions of some subsystem, then it tends to appear even times. And this observation holds with a very high probability, particularly when the system is complicated. And our second observation is, if a normal only appears in a few subsystem and it appears all the times in some subsystem, then it tends to appear all the times in the whole system with a relative high probability. And the logic of this second observation is that for a monomial, it only appears in a few subsystems, and by the first observation, it appears even times in most of them. And if it is odd in some subsystem, it, is hardly, it hardly turns to even in the last. And uh, there are some data supporting, uh, we cannot prove the, this observation, but there are some data uh, that can be can supporting the observation too. The, the data are the statistics, statistics about the, <coughs> of the monomials in the superpolis. And we sort the monomials by degree and the Fourth column shows how many how many monomials, and, and the fourth column shows how many monomials appear odd in the subsystem, and the fifth, the data in the fifth column show how many monomials appear still appear odd in the whole system, and the ratio is given in the last column. From the data, we can see that the higher the degree is, the ratio the higher the ratio is. And with these two observations, we give a heuristic algorithm for search to search for valuable cubes. In the first step, we prepare a set of candidate cubes and choose a specific secret variable Ki. 
In the second step, we divide the whole system into several small subsystems. And in the third step, we, we solve each subsystem one by one. And during the computation, for a cube, for a cube, if a nonlinear monomial involving k appears all the times in some subsystem, then we remove this cube from the candidate site. Another case is for cube ci. If the monomial ki appears in some subsystem, this time we record the number of the times for ci. And after the computation finish, if there exists some cube ci such that the recorded number of ci is odd, then ci is a valuable cube. And in our experiments, we use two criteria to detect hopeless cubes, and one is more aggressive but more efficient. And another possible case is that our criteria are too aggressive and reject all candidate cubes. And in, in this case, we can increase the size of subsystems and search again. Because if there really exist some valuable cubes, we can always find them if the, subset, if the subsystems are large enough. And next, let's see the applications. And Trivium is a famous stream cipher, and it has an 80-bit K. So to provide a theoretical attack against the run reduced Trivium, it suffices to find one valuable cube with dimension no bigger than 78. So <clears throat> the set of candidate cubes we used in our experiments contain all the cubes of dimension 78. And for attacking 840-hundred round trivium, <coughs> we choose three secret variables by random, and we compared the number of hopeless cubes and the number of valuable cubes and we also give the timings of each search algorithm. From the table, we can see that the first criterion is more aggressive, but it, it is more efficient. And the data of different variables are also, are different, are also different. <coughs> and here are the timings for retrieving the superpolis. From these data, we can see that all the timings are more than one hour. And uh, compared with the search algorithm, we can see the search algorithm is very efficient. And we also apply the search algorithm to higher rounds of trivium. For 841 and 842, we use the first criterion. And for 843, we use the second criterion. And finally, we found two valuable cubes. And we recover the superpoly of one valuable cube. And the superpoly contains more than 16,000 16, monomials. And it leads to a theoretical attack against 843 round trivium with the complexity slightly better than the brute force method. And another application is a practical attack against the trivial. In this case, we need many superpolis instead of one. So we preset a set of indexes S, and we prepare all the candidate cubes from the subsets of S. And we searched about uh, two weeks and uh, got about 200 valuable cubes, as well as their nonlinear superpolis. To solve this nonlinear system, we use the guess and determine method. And please note that only the values of 
of balanced var variables can be deduced. For example, in this equation, only the value of x2 can be deduced. And by guessing the values of 43 variables, we can deduce the values of the other 37. And the deduction costs no time. So the complexity of getting the active values of superpolis is 2 power 44. And the complexity of solving the true k is 2 power 43. Both can be done practically. And there are some details about the variable cubes and the balanced variables. Note that a superpoly may contain several balanced variables. And uh, at last, we summarize this presentation. Our main contribution is to propose is that we proposed a new algorithm to search for valuable cubes. And uh, we apply this search algorithm to both theoretical and practical attacks. And uh, we believe this search algorithm can be applied to other ciphers directly. And uh, that's all. Thanks for your attention.